Welcome to the Valley Today, a public service presentation of KAIL-TV. Our journeys take us to Aqua Sports Dive Shop in central Fresno. Dubbed the Diver's Dive Shop, Aqua Sports equips and trains people to dive safely. And now Mike and his team are teaching veterans of foreign wars to dive for free. Join us as we visit with Mike and Carl and learn all about getting certified. Up next on the Valley Today. Welcome to the Valley Today. We are at Aqua Sports on Shields and Blackstone in Fresno. Aqua Sports, the premium dive shop here with Mike Sahakian. And Mike's an old friend. Yep. I've known him for a long time, and he's doing a really good thing now. He is teaching veterans, people that are either coming back from uh, the current wars that we have or guys that have served in wars past, he, you're teaching them how to dive, and it's a service yep. that you're giving them for free. That's exactly right. You're the man, buddy. Well, what, what are we going to do? I don't care what Cuckoo Achoo says about you. <laughs> You're the man. Actually, Cuckoo Achoo has good things to say about you. But that's for another show. Anyway, so you're uh, teaching veterans how to learn to dive, and you're certifying yes. them. Uh, certifying. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, what we end up, <laughs> uh, what we end up doing is we uh, uh, take a lot of the veterans as a group, and um, uh, we have a little bit of classroom portion with them. We do the practical dives in a swimming pool, and then we actually take them to the ocean and do all the practical skills in the pool to the ocean. So once they complete those skills, they get an absolute uh, certification from that, uh, a uh, certification, and uh, they're able to dive anywhere in the world with that. Wow. Okay. So to get certified, what, what's involved? You get some classroom time. Yeah, we have classroom time. On the average, it runs about four hours an evening for two nights. Mm -hmm. And then we do a full day in the pool, usually about 8 o'clock in the morning till about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we end up doing the uh, open water dives either in Monterey or Catalina. With the veterans, what we ended up doing is going to Catalina off Casino Point and uh, it's a little place where the casino is, and it's real easy entrance and exits, and a lot of marine life and sea life is there. They had, they had an absolutely great time. And the water uh, temperature is a lot warmer, about 65 degrees. Visibilities on the average, 75 to 100. So they had a really great time. So that's it. pretty good for California because I've heard, uh, I know a lot of guys that have gotten certified through Aqua Sports through you, and they've gone to Monterey, and. They've had some good dives there, but a lot of times they have told me that it's it's been pretty murky depending on what the surf's doing and how choppy it is. Right. But Catalina has always given you uh, a better um, a better visibility, right? Yes. Um, you want me to get that? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, in that the. Um, uh, it's not really dirty water. What it ends up being is a lot of the nutrients that the marine life exists on, like uh, the kelp and the sea, sea uh, all the, uh, the sea life uh, depend on that. That's the reason why it's so uh, nutrient rich environment for that type of uh, marine life and that's the reason why you'll see so much. It's so like, that's why all the whales are coming into Monterey because they're getting their, their feet, that's a huge food chain there. A huge food chain. Yeah. See, I didn't realize. I thought that was all just dirt and uh, sand that was just kicked up yeah. uh, from rough seas, but uh, that's, that's interesting to know. And, and a lot of that you'll see is when you get down to the Caribbean and different places, uh, you'll see places where uh, you won't see the kelp, you won't see, um, and it'll be a little bit different environment. It's, it's a difference between going to the desert and to the redwood forest up here in Kings Canyon. Oh, wow. See, the show's already working. It's not even on the air yet, and people are calling. See, I see you on television, but you know we're taping this in June, and of course this won't air until the end of July or August. Well, that's really cool. So, how many veterans have you uh, pushed through this program, and how long have you been doing it? Uh, uh, we just started doing it. Actually, a customer uh, brought it to our attention. Uh, he was a veteran, and we made contact with the veterans' hospital, and um, uh, basically we ended up putting this thing together, and and uh, a pretty neat program. They really enjoy it. Uh, the big thing is a lot of these veterans when they come back, um, you know, they're, they've been trained, they've worked hard to be able to survive and do the things that they do, mm -hmm. what they do there, and when they come back, they, what am I going to do now? Right. And this gives them another opportunity for them to come back in, and uh, there's a whole lot to life that we can uh, do and enjoy. Yeah. 
And this is a really good thing. And this is one of those disciplines where to do it correctly, you have to be pretty safe. It's kind of like learning right. to fly is the same thing. You know, you want to go by the numbers and learn to do the right thing so that you will be safe. And so with the classes and with the diving in the pool and the diving in the ocean, uh, I'm sure that safety is number one on your list. Number one. And, you know, it's, it's a, always an absolute pleasure working with these guys. They're squared away. They're sharp. They know what's going on. And they're a lot of fun. Yeah. Have you, uh, have you uh, worked with any guys that have had disabilities that have uh, come in to, to uh, learn to dive here from uh, the Vets Administration? Yeah, they had, uh, like, head trauma and, mm -hmm. and different things, and they had, uh, they had some problems. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but, you know, they're determined, and uh, they're, they're, they're yeah. skilled real well, and uh, they don't give up. Well, that's good. That's good. So uh, to, uh, you, you, t you teach two four-hour classes in the classroom, and yes. what, what, are you, what are you teaching them, basically? You teach, taught, teaching them about compression and decompression and all that? Uh, we talk about the physics. It's real easy. I mean, when you talk physics and things like that, uh, breathing compressed gas, uh, it's not as complicated as you think it might be. Mm -hmm. Very simple. We've got 10-year-old kids doing it. We have families doing it. Uh, we talk about the equipment, how the equipment works, and also... Um, <clears throat> Uh, what you'll be able to do that with it after you become certified, mm -hmm. uh, like travel and go on expeditions with us. Yeah. So uh, as once you're certified, then you can go anywhere in the world. Is this a, a PADI certification? Yeah, we're a PADI five-star facility. Okay. It's recognized worldwide. The certification card never expires. Uh, if you ever lose your certification card, a dive shop or resort, uh, can pull that information up 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Cool. Anywhere in the world, if yeah. they have internet access. And now you're going to uh, you're going to the Baham. You're going to the Bahamas. Uh, we're going to Provo on CL. Okay. In Provo. Yeah, and you're you're taking uh, you're taking a group of people from this area. Yeah, we're taking a group of yeah. people, and we're going to spend a week there. And, and so this is a dive tourism trip that you're taking. And if uh -huh. people aren't certified, they could become certified on the trip that you take them on, right? Sure. Absolutely. But typically, they're probably all certified, ready to go. Uh, most of the time, they're yeah. already certified, ready to go, mm -hmm. and a lot of times, like a like a spouse uh, is not a diver, and they're more than welcome to come. And I have non-divers too, as well as go. Mm -hmm. And it's a different price for that because the diving portion of that's not included. Yeah. So how many dive how many dive sites will you go on this trip? Uh, we'll do uh, about twelve dives. Okay. At twelve different yeah. locations. And you'll be gone. For, it's about a, a one week trip. It's one week. Yeah. You depart on a Saturday, return on a Sunday. How many trips do you go on a year where you take uh, <laughs> students that have just gotten certified and uh, people that are uh, now uh, higher ranked that have been diving for a while? How, how often do you go on dive trips? Well, we normally will do uh, one local trip a month. Mm -hmm. And we do uh, two large trips a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, January, we just got back from Indonesia down towards Sulawesi. Oh, wow. Uh, we did that, and that was a, that was a two and a two and a half week trip. Um, uh, and we spent two nights on the Singapore, uh, Singapore on the way home. That was absolutely fantastic. Great time. Wow. I bet, and, the, I bet the water there is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, water was a 300 foot visibility. Uh, we had uh, uh, it was like Jurassic Park, you know, mm -hmm. Indonesia. The resort was at a place at the end of the road where the road ends. That's where we were at in the jungle, pristine, all teak mahogany, beautiful in the jungle. Wow. And you could actually see uh, the volcanoes in the distance. You know, a couple of them would be blowing off in the distance. No kidding. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, it's, it's, it's the real thing. Just like uh, Mutiny on the Bounty, huh? Yeah. I mean, uh, literally volcanoes 40 miles away from the resort. So in your dive, how long have you been diving? I started diving in 1976. Okay, so it's about 40 years now. Yeah, 40 yeah. years. Can you and believe what's that? The, I'm getting that old. And what's the... Well, you're still a kid to us. At heart. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the clearest water you've ever been in? Uh, clearest water um, was in Tahiti. Uh, in Tahiti. Yeah. It was about 300 foot. So that's about that's about where the water is the clearest is about 300 feet. Yeah, visibility. it was about 300 about 300 feet. But you got to keep in mind because it doesn't have all that nutrients. Right. You'll you'll see a lot of big pelagics like big tunas, big sharks, things uh -huh. like that. But you're not going to see the kelp in the forest. And things right. Like because that. it's not nutrient dense. Right. Yeah. And have you uh, have you a dove all over the world? Pretty much. There's yeah. not too many places you can point on a map that mm -hmm. I haven't dove. It has water. Yeah. And what's your favorite place that you've 
Probably uh, Tahiti? My, my, no, my number one place is Palau, Micronesia, South Pacific. Uh -huh. that's, the war that's the water that's probably the warmest and uh, uh, the clearest? Well, um, uh, it was probably 100, 150 foot visibility, mm -hmm. uh, very nutrient rich environment. A uh, lot of huge, big pelagics like big tunas and sharks, and I mean, just unbelievable. I mean, mm -hmm. you'd look up into the uh, up toward the the uh, the surface, and it would be just uh, the sun would be blocked out with just a, the amount of uh, fish that was. That's in the water. your new name, Mikey Tuna. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do, what is it if for people that want to come in and, and uh, get certified? What what does that cost typically? Uh, it usually is two ninety nine. Yeah, and that includes all the classroom pool. Mm -hmm. Open water checkout, certification dive, and your certification. And that's the dive. equipment. To that's all the equipment. You, you, uh -huh. you let them use the equipment also. Yeah, we let them use all the equipment. Uh, yeah. The, the rental equipment you rent that for one thirty mm -hmm. for all the pool work and the open water work. Start to finish, mm -hmm. realistically, with your personal items that you're going to own, like your mass fins, snorkel boots, and mm -hmm. gloves. The, all your rental equipment, the class tuition, you're going to spend realistically about uh, seventy five percent of the people. We'll spend about um, about six hundred and fifty dollars start mm -hmm. to finish. That's what you can base it. It can be less than that. It can be more than that, just depending on the items that you pick. What a wonderful hobby! Yeah, and it's so nice that you're also now giving this uh, free service to the veterans who have served our country, guys that have been in past wars and in the current wars that we have in Afghanistan and Iraq. Yeah, wonderful. Well, it's uh, you know, and I'll tell you, like Paul Best with Wolf Productions, mm -hmm. uh, he donated a lot of his time and efforts. Oceanic uh, was a huge supporter in this, supplying all the equipment. Uh, the, the items that we mentioned about you have to own, they actually donated that to the veterans. Nice. They, they gave that So to does them. this mask make me look fat? Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> With Mike Sahakian here at Aqua Sports. Uh, and come down and see the shop at Shields and West. And, uh, Shields and Blackstone. That's right, Shields and Blackstone. See, Boy, I really messed that up, huh? Yeah, he was. Where'd I come up with that one? Well, you're just trying to see if I'm on my game. Yeah, you're on your game. With Mike Sagan here at Aqua Sports at Shields and Blackstone. Southwest and Corner. Southwest Corner. Here at Aqua Sports, and we were talking about uh, teaching veterans from Iraq and, I and Afghanistan how to dive. Guys that are coming back from the war. And how's yeah. that going? That's going great. They were yeah. having a really good time with it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them are, are continuing diving after they became certified. Mm -hmm. So it's just not a flash in the pan. They are getting genuinely interested in this and going forward after they've been uh, been certified to dive, right? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. How long does it take to get certified? Uh, it usually takes about uh, 35 to 40 hours. Mm -hmm. of really? instruction. Uh -huh. we, and we that's do, classroom and diving? Yeah, we do the classroom and we also do pool work and mm -hmm. we do some open water work as well. Mm -hmm. Like in the either, we can either do it in the lake, but we normally don't like to do that. We do it in uh, either Monterey or Catalina. Why do you, why do you prefer salt water to fresh water? It's just more things to see. Uh huh. I see. Okay, so it's a little more boring in, in a lake because there's just not that, there's many features to to see. So uh, right. Catalina's your best dive spot. Yeah, Catalina is fantastic. It's great visibility. Uh, the water's a little bit warmer. Mm -hmm. uh, that's real nice. I really enjoy it. And there. so, how did you get dialed into the uh, wounded warriors thing? Well, we had a customer that brought it to our attention, mm -hmm. and we said uh, that we'd love to participate. Mm -hmm. And then Remy Sanchez with the uh, the Veterans uh, Hospital uh, got in contact with us and uh, just kind of like basically put it together. And how long have you been doing this now? Uh, I've been uh, I've owned and operated the business uh, since 1985. But I mean, with uh, the wounded warriors, how long has that been going? Uh, probably about a year. Yeah. Just about a year. And how many people have you pumped through the program? Uh, about a dozen. Oh, okay. Are they are these guys apprehensive or? Uh, some of them are, but yeah. uh, a lot of them aren't. Uh, mm -hmm. They, you know, it's something they really enjoy doing. It's, yeah. it's it's a lot of fun for them. It's something new and different that they can do. Because there are people that are, uh, you know, prone to, to liking the water, so this is uh, just a natural progression for people that already like to go swimming and, and go surfing or, or you know, an and, extension and, of that. And adventure. You know, a yeah. lot of it's, you know, big-time adventure. I mean, these guys uh, uh, got certified, and they're continuing with it. And in fact, they're actually wanting to start a, uh, a little club there at mm -hmm. the VA. So when a wounded warrior comes into this program, uh, you have to assess him for, his, uh, for the needs if he's got uh, a, a handicap. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you do that. You do a one-on-one -on -one kind of an interview and and see what their needs are. Well, usually it's just a form, a PADI form that we fill out. Mm -hmm. uh, PADI stands for Professional Association of Diving Instructors, mm -hmm. and that's the organization that we certify through. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, 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 
certain things that uh, uh, will disqualify or qualify you to learn to scuba, uh, but it's not that you can't do it. Mm -hmm. You just have to have a doctor sign you off for so, it. So, oh, okay. So uh, people with certain circumstances have to have a uh, medical write-off, huh? Well, you know, like 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 heart conditions or really? asthma, things so like that. So it's almost that's kind of like flying. So if you if you don't measure up physically, then uh, you're not going to get certified. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, no. Uh, well, you have to have your doctor sign you off. Yeah. And so what? So like a heart condition. Uh huh. Okay. And I've had people die with heart uh, that had heart heart attacks, but they just have to have their physician sign off. Okay. All, All right. right. And so are you getting young and old folks uh, young and coming old. in? Yeah. Uh, our oldest uh, um, customer is about 80, 82 oh, that wow. still scuba dives. Yeah. And so physically with us. active, great. That's, that's, uh, mm -hmm. that's a really good thing to hear. Yeah, so anybody can do it. Very young people to uh, families love it. It gives the uh, opportunity for the families to get together and, mm -hmm. and dive with the whole family and places to go and people to see. And so to get certified, uh, what's, what's the time frame on that? Uh, usually takes about two and a half weeks. We do two nights in class, mm -hmm. um, and then we do one full day in the pool on a, uh, usually on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, if they need additional training in the pool, we'll add another day to it. Mm -hmm. But usually we, you know, you get about uh, uh, five to six hours in the pool during the day with breaks, of course. Yeah. And then uh, uh, then we have a whole full weekend either in Monterey or Catalina for the open water dives. So there's a, is there a specific pool that you have to go to because you have to have uh, so much depth to get them, uh, to not get really. them down to an atmosphere? Or? Uh, not really. Yeah. Uh, we normally use, um, uh, the pools that we normally use are around 18 feet deep, so there's oh, okay. no problem with that. because most pools are less than 10 feet deep, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. We can do that. But you've, you've got a pool here locally that's 18 feet deep? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, we use one of the local schools that we do. Mm-hmm. That's very cool. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, to, it, put you, it takes them about two and a half weeks to get certified. And, yeah, for uh, beginning so, of the so end. So take us through the process of, of them starting and then them wrapping up. Uh, what we normally end up doing is they uh, end up getting the book material, the study guides, start reading it, and inside the, uh, the study guides there's uh, acknowledge reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, as they go through each chapter, there's five chapters in the book, and they'll fill that information out. That will go in their student folder file the first day in, in class. Mm -hmm. And they'll be able to see it, read it, and do it three times. Mm -hmm. So they'll understand it, they'll get it. Oh, okay. uh, they'll, you, know, you have lecture, you have video. Mm -hmm. uh, during the class time, and then you'll take that uh, all the information that you learn in the pool in the classroom. You'll take it to the pool. You'll learn the exercises in the pool, and then you'll do the open water work. So, uh, what's the most critical thing that they have to learn? Is it is it not holding their breath when they're coming back up? Or? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and where uh, can you get the bends at any depth? Can you go down to ten feet and stay down there for a while and and come up too fast? Uh, and, uh, not really, but you can embolize real easy mm -hmm. doing that. And so, uh, what's about what are the depths are you working at when you're, uh, uh, the when you're going to Catalina? Uh, Catalina is about thirty feet. Yeah. We normally do thirty to sixty at the most. Now, now, are some people real sensitive to the pressure uh, when they're going down and, and they really can't do it because it's just too much on their on their uh, on their eardrums? Yeah, but you know, a lot of that has to do with just uh, technique, unless they have some sort of physiological problem with their uh, sinuses or with their ears. Mm -hmm. But we don't have too much of a problem with that. Yeah. And uh, now now that you've trained some vets, or you've got other people online now coming on that want to, uh, you know, that are vets that, to say, hey, I want to do this too. Yeah. I'm, in fact, I'm glad you asked that because we have a female instructor now that we just brought on board. Right there. Yeah. And, and what's uh, her name? Uh, Christian. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, she's going to be able to bring a lot of the female uh, uh, veterans in. Right, because this is, is this a male-dominated sport? Uh, no, not at all. Yeah. I mean, we got young, old families, husbands, wives. Uh huh. But you'd like to bring in more or more women into this into this uh, sport, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You're getting uh, from the peanut gallery. Yeah. <laughs> And Kristen is uh, also certified to teach handicapped people. Yes. Right? Uh huh. Now, do you have that certification? I don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's another, that's an added benefit that you brought here to Aquasports. That's it. She brought yeah. it up to a different level. Yeah. Now Aquasports has been in business since 1985? 1985. Yeah. And how long have you been here at Blackstone and Shields? 
Uh, about 15 years. Yeah, and you moved from, you were over by, you were actually over by I was the, across the street from the Veterans from Hospital. From the Veterans Hospital. Right there yeah. on uh, Fresno and Terrace. Right. And a small little shop we started and and eventually expanded the business and here we are in yeah. the southwest corner. And, and Shields what made and you decide to get into uh, to the, the dive business? I mean, I, well, I can see it as a sport for somebody to get into, but as a, uh, but as a uh, business, that's a little different animal. Uh, I just loved it. I just loved, uh, when, when I was a young man, I was watching uh, Sea Hunt, was one of my favorite shows, oh, yeah, with Lloyd Voyage Bridges. to the Bottom of the Sea. Yeah. Uh, I just loved those shows uh -huh. and I just loved the adventure and the exploration uh, that they were doing mm -hmm. on, the, on the shows and I said, that's what I want to do. Is every dive different for you? I mean, you go to the, you take these people to the same places, but are there new surprises for you uh, at these same places that you've been to again and again? No, every time it's always something new yeah. because the uh, 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 the climate changes, the uh, the temp water temperatures change. Mm -hmm. uh, there's different type of marine life that come and go mm -hmm. during those depending, times. Depending on what time of year that you're diving. The, yeah, it depends on what time. What's of year. the best time of year to dive at uh, Catalina? Um, as far as the water clarity and the temperature and all that? Usually during the winter times. Really? Yeah, usually uh -huh. during the winter. And you've got to keep in mind, their winter times are usually uh, our summers here in the valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of reversed It's reversed a little bit. Yeah. You don't get the plankton blooms during the overcast. Mm -hmm. So the water's a little bit clearer. And if you can catch it as the, uh, you get great sunshine, the ocean's flat, mm -hmm. and the water's great. Very cool. So the Wounded Warriors, you're helping these guys learn to dive, and it's a, it's a new challenge for them. It probably gets their minds off of if these guys have had uh, traumatic uh, oh, yeah. uh, injuries. You know, yeah. it, it, really, it really puts a new light on their life and probably improves their attitude. Right, it really does. It gives them a whole new different idea, takes them out of, the, uh, out of uh, uh, what they've been trained to do, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, gets them in a whole new different uh, and you really have to have some sense of, of, uh, of uh, you know, intelligence to do this. I mean, you can't just, th this isn't like getting on a skateboard. I mean, you have to have some presence of mind as far as uh, w where you're diving down to, and especially when you're coming back up, you have yeah, to. Uh, like riding a bicycle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a big thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, what, I mean, we train you pretty well as far as that yeah. goes. So now when, you get in these, when you're training these uh, people, um, what the equipment uh, are they they just renting the equipment at yeah. that point uh we had oceanic was one of the manufacturers that donated all of the basic equipment that they needed for mm -hmm. the course that was the mass snorkel fins boots and gloves okay so that was a tremendous amount of money i mean that was about 250 are these things that they would keep uh, yeah they keep they keep items? that as personal items okay and then we ended up donating all the uh the um, uh the uh, rental equipment, tanks, regulators, weight belts, mm -hmm. wetsuits, fill their tanks for them. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. And this is going out throughout the United States, right? Throughout or is the United this around States. around the world? If there's uh, GIs in other countries, are they doing I'm sure, that too? Yeah, uh, um, I'm sure that it is. I don't know that for a fact, but mm -hmm. uh, I know through the United, throughout the United States it is. Mm -hmm. Anything new coming into uh, Aquasports here? Are there any new pieces of equipment? Uh, any cutting edge stuff, or is well, it basically all the same stuff? Or well, it, it all, always changes as yeah. far as like uh, dive computers have really changed since you've been going uh, through calculating your no decompression limits. We have to use a uh, a chart to do that with. Mm -hmm. Now it's all pretty much dive computers, mm -hmm. and they're going wireless computers, being able to sense the pressure of your tank mm -hmm. to your watch mm -hmm. wirelessly. Because you have to kind of have to time that. You have to have enough air to get, be able to get back up safely, right? Right. Yeah. Right. And then what it does is it calculates your respiration rate, the depth that you're at, the amount of pressure that's in your tank, and gives you a dive time remaining based on that, or shows you where you are relative to your no decompression limit. Now, uh, diving... Pretty neat. Uh, what's the it takes all the guesswork out. What's the uh, uh, deepest that uh, people typically go with scuba? Well, the... Uh, the average is about 100 feet at the maximum depth that you can go to. Mm -hmm. Because as you descend in depth, the atmospheric pressure increases. Right. And uh, at, a, at a around 240 feet, it becomes 100% oxygen at that depth, mm -hmm. and you can get oxygen toxicity. Okay, so for the people that are interested from that have gone to, uh, that have been in the service and have uh, been in a war or just been in the service, they are, uh -huh. are they eligible for the Wounded Warriors? Um, uh, th through the veterans, I think there's uh, there's uh, some criteria that they have to, to meet with the veterans hospital, mm -hmm. and they can they can contact the local their uh, local 
uh, VA hospital and uh, and see if they're uh, okay. Apply for and that. there's a what's the website? Is it woundedwarriors.org? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Well, very good. Mike Sahagian with Aqua Sports. We My did pleasure. Okay, huh? Yeah. I think we did all right. Did you're doing good work here? You know, especially donating your time to help these folks. That's that's very nice of you. That's just a lot of fun. We have yeah. a great time doing it. And, and being able to share something like this yeah. with a lot of And if of you're interested in diving, come to Aqua Sports here at Blackstone and Shields. And come Southwest meet, Corner. Come meet Mike. And, uh, you know, this is a new, new hobby that you can get into.